This is a really, really, really good event tonight because it's only it's 10 past 5 and I need to be in Alderley Edge for 6. Now, Cult Beauty, who are obviously an online beauty retailer stockist similar to Look Fantastic, they have actually got a pop-up running, I think for the next month, I believe, but I'll find out the details and put it all below. Yeah, they have a pop-up running in Coggles in Alderley Edge, so it's like a Cult Beauty X Coggles thing. It doesn't actually open until tomorrow to the public, so I'm getting my own little sneak peek this evening and then we're going for a dinner as well which will be super cool so yeah I thought I'd take you along with me we seem to be like kicking off every vlog at the minute with an event it's just event season I literally said when I was on the cruise I can't wait to return to my usual thumb life and not have to get ready every single day however October November December in this industry is just nuts for like events Halloween stuff Christmas stuff Black Friday there's just stuff going on constantly so even though summer's like busy with like trips and stuff this time of year is more like events if that makes sense there's been a lot going on anyway because something is launching very 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 soon which i'll be able to tell you about so it's like double whammy this year because it's like we've loaded all this craziness onto ourselves but we love being busy it's a blessing i actually wanted to get a starbies on my way but i don't think i have time so i'll just have to wait until i can get a drink when I get there but yeah I'm really excited because Cult Beauty are obviously online and it's so good to actually see these brands I mean Sephora recently came to the UK right so now we get to see these kinds of brands in person because obviously Sephora have is it stores yeah I think they've got multiple now in the UK but for online retailers like Cult for them to do like pop-ups it's so good because you get to actually see the products that they stock IRL in real life she's made it to Alderley Edge Wow, I've got period pains. It's not okay. I don't even have fucking periods. What's going on? There we go. Blinking egg. Um, I want to quickly show you my outfit before I walk round to a park in this car park and it's three after three, which is absolute fucking vibes. But I don't actually know if it's got a barrier on it. I don't think it does, so I hope that that means that it's not gonna close. Um, let me just check that you can't see. You know when you tuck your shirt into your skirt? I feel like you're not even going to be able to see my outfit. But I'm wearing this, um, this, like, oh, that's definitely too long on one side. I'm wearing this, like, linen vibe shirt, which is super old in my wardrobe. I think it's from Misguided, maybe, or Boohoo. And then I've got this denim skirt on, which is new in at PLT. It's got, like, this fold over bits, but it's super short. But then I think I'm quite long anyway, aren't I? So, um, yeah, it's like a low rise skirt. It just kind of sits on your hips. But it looks really light on here, but it's like a dark wash grey. And then I've got these ASOS boots on, which you all seen in the ASOS haul not that long ago. Anyway, it's quarter past six and it started at six. So I need to go and get my ass in because it's like a three minute walk. But all my chewing gum, I'm going to need that after dinner. But yeah, I will show you. That's my leather boots squeaking. God, that was way harder for me to get in and out than I imagined it was going to be. Is that was me thinking I'm going to be late. I'm the first one here. So I get my own little show around. <laughs> which I'm buzzing about. So this is Coggles in Alderley if you've never been here before. So it's on the High Street. It's just down the road from Out Dazzle where we go quite a lot. You'll know that store. This is like the flower station. So cute. We have all um, lovely gift bags at the end and they are honestly, if, oh, let me show you how happy Oh my gosh, I've just seen them all on the floor. So there's literally no. so many good stuff in oh there. Like it's all for beauty. I just so love it's the amazing. Bags as well, yeah. It's so handy. So how cool are the flowers? This red is like a at the minute. It's yeah, like red is trendy. Thank you. And then we have pips up this room. I don't know if you've oh. seen it before. It used to be a oh. washi room, and now it's oh all. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm taking bottle and grave with my name. I wish I had an eye in my name so I could have a little love heart. Um, that's yeah. cute. I could do something at the end. Oh, thank you. Perfect. I'm gonna put one on the end for me. That's a good example though. Um, so I'm just gonna get Asher on my bottle. How gorgeous is this though? Just smell it. And it's like, it's got cherry notes to it, but it is quite autumnal as well, which is quite oody. So it is my kind of scent. But how gorgeous is that? I've never been in the bottle once it's got my name on it. How cute this is. I can't deal. I have never been in this bottle also. I'm gonna need this Ganny bag for the festive season, if I'm being honest, because that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, the ribbon ties on the side. I'm obsessed. It's getting very, very busy in here now. Very busy. Also, I literally looked over when I got in here and I was like, that's Jess on the deck. It's like man and Laura's friend, which was so random. When I walked in, I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? These little mini guys, these are like mini bruschetta. So good. How cute. Banana bread over there. I'm gonna have to get some more banana bread because that was just so good. Guys, say hi to Pina. Pina is a trainee service dog. He's doing very well. He's come all the way from London with a couple of these beauty editors from Fabulous Mag. Next stop, Menagerie. Just got a taxi hit. Oh my god, wow. I'm freezing. It's been a hot minute since I've been here, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Person. I literally look like I'm sat in the dark. I'm okay. Excuse me. No, thank you. Excuse me. Am I able to get a soft drink, like a diet coke or something? Thank you. Just a diet coke, please. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so dark. Guys. Guys. Where am I? Where's my light when I need it? say hi to the vlog gang oh vlog gang i missed you all so much i've been such a snoozy boy today because two hours hate the winter so they just cuddle up all day in their blankies and do nothing and be little lazy boys don't they that's what two hours do oh bumby you want everything i love you so much do you ever just pretend to eat your dog ears it's already got one missing fair not do that to that one eh before I go make a brew, I've just made an executive decision. Over the next, like over October and November, any bits that I get, like in PR, gift bags, goodie bags, whatever, I'm going to collate bits that I obviously don't use or bits that I don't need to make content with, bits that maybe my mum or like friends or whatever don't want because, you know, sometimes I do overload people and I'm like, do you want this, do you want that? I'm, I'm going to do a giveaway. I think I'm, I'm going to keep it exclusive to the vlog gang to be honest because you guys are just ride or dies I actually adore you guys so I'm gonna collate as much stuff as I can and then like beginning of December like mid-December just before Christmas we'll do like a little giveaway of like loads of random products like hopefully a lot Merry Christmas to one of you guys that's all I've got to say but yeah I'm gonna start keeping stuff to a side and then December maybe the first vlog in December, we'll do a little giveaway in the comments or something. I feel like that will make one of your, make one of your ends of year, if that makes sense. She's got a cup of tea. She's in her dressy. Oh, I live for these nights, guys. I honestly do. I just put the big light on for a second. I feel like it's gonna be super dark in here. Otherwise, wow, that was bright. Really, really random. I have to tell you this because, hang on, let me go and grab it one sec. Let me put you down on the bed. Bear with, bear with. Let me get comfy for this. Me and my brew's over there, but it's super hot anyway, so we'll let it cool down. So earlier, I thought, right, I need to go to the storage unit because everything that I want out of my storage unit now, my storage unit has got all my shit in it, like everything you can possibly imagine. I feel like this infamous storage unit is just so funny because I've spoke about it a few times in the vlogs, but um, yeah, it's got so much crap in it, like oh, so much, like bulky stuff like sofas, desks, bookcases everything from the house basically is in the storage unit and one thing that i needed out of there which i just haven't grabbed yet is 
like my journals because I love to journal um I have loads of notebooks to write in this as you know and like my cards because I love to pull cards mind cards tarot cards stuff like that so I love all that kind of stuff as you know so I thought right I need to go and get that album storage unit because it's been a while um anyways obviously well when my mum came and helped me pack up the house she boxed a lot of it I mean my head was all over the place to be honest so whilst I was stood there like an absolute sobbing mess um she boxed a lot of it up and I saw this so all the boxes have got her writing on and I saw this one box that said like all oh, important bits so I opened it and it was like some officey bits and then obviously all my mind cards my tarot cards my notebooks and my journals so I thought right that like the journal that I was last writing in was actually nearly finished I used the five minute journal and this is so off topic from for what I'm about to say but um I am not gonna look at that I think there's only like 12 pages left so I've just ordered a new one anyway like I said I used the five minute journal it's so good but Megan just got one from Papia I think it's called um she said that's really good it's like a more of a wellness journal so I might give that a go but anyways I don't think I'm gonna look at that journal because I was journaling obviously over the whole move and like the, I just don't I just don't know if I want to go back into that book to be honest but yeah it's just got like the start of the relationship everything because just everything's in there so I don't want to go back into it so I've been that that has gone it's 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 long gone and when I was in that box anyway which said important stuff I went into the like little trinket box thing that has my mind cards in and this was in there and I swear to you I was stood in my fucking storage unit which is like an indoor thing and I saw this and I just burst into tears and I was like oh my god I haven't seen that in so long let me just show it you it's gonna have like no significance until I explain but see this has a little book of encouragement I'm gonna try my best to not go on here because we all know I like to ramble on about things but my nana so my mum's mum and dad my nan and bumper bumper was my granddad long before that's what i named my dog they were a really huge part of my life i lived with them for a long time they are my mum's parents so my mum's mum and dad god they passed away now god both of them over a decade ago and it's so weird that like they're both gone like over 10 years ago yet my dad's mum and dad my gran and tied who literally live around the corner from me are both still here like isn't it weird how life works like their experience of me is like a nearly 30 year old whereas nan and bumper didn't even get to see me as a 20 year old like it's it's actually nuts but anyway my nana my mum's mum she was in hospital when she passed away and i will never forget do you know what i keep talking about this thing that's coming but there's going to be a space where we can talk very openly about grief and my experience and things that helped me and you know it's been like I say over a decade and I'm only just now in a place where I'm comfortable enough to sit and be able to talk about it and not it not just be an absolute blubbering mess just um so yeah we will we will touch on that in the future in a really nice space and yeah I like I said I lived with them for a long time they were a really important part of my life and my nana actually passed away in hospital now the time before that that my nana was in hospital was in 2005 cut in a very long story short and she actually had a blood clot in her leg she got put on life support and both well all three of my bumper my granddad my mother and my uncle the three of them had to make a decision on whether to turn my nana's life support off or amputate her left leg like above the knee like halfway between the hip and the knee and give her and hopefully an extra chance at life and obviously they went with that decision like she was an older lady then god i don't know how old she would have been in in 2005 but to go through something like that at the age she was you know it was a bit of a risk but bumper was like i'm just not ready to lose her i was so young then i obviously didn't understand fully what was going on what would i have been first year of high school maybe I can't remember um but anyway that was 2005 she didn't pass away until 2011 so what a decision they made because it gave her all those extra years like an extra six years of her life anyway on the time that she was in hospital when she passed away she passed away on the 7th of May 2011 and during that time I was in my first year of sixth form in my school so I was doing my or studying towards my levels but I think they're called your AS levels aren't they at that time in your first year of um, sixth form and obviously you get nervous for exams and stuff like that in school anyway my nana went to the little gift shop in the hospital and she bought me this which is a little book of encouragement and it's so weird now when I think about it because 
I have my Brew True page, right, on Instagram, which is just a quotes page. I just write quotes on there, things that I'm feeling, things that I've absorbed, you know, things that I like. I write them up and I post them on there. If you don't know what that page is, then that is actually me behind that page. And quotes are just my thing. I think you all know that if you follow me on Instagram. And now thinking back to the fact that my nana, when I was 17, just before she passed away, bought me this book, which is a complete quote book like there's nothing in it but quotes and it's called the little book of encouragement she obviously bought me this to encourage me and wish me success and stuff for my as levels and obviously going on to a levels and it's just weird that now i'm like the quote girl and i actually got this from my nana which is full of quotes but anyway she bought me this like around the time that she passed away like i think it was like the week before she passed away that she got me this and yeah it's super special and i haven't seen it in so long and when i just like randomly came across it in a box of stuff earlier in the storage unit i was like a blubbering mess because it's been such a weird time in my life with like direction and stuff why am i getting emotional compose yourself mary lou compose yourself um it's been such a weird time in my life with direction obviously because I thought like I had like my happy ever after and blah 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 all that fucking bollocks I won't bore you with but then you just that all goes and you just kind of like okay well what the fuck do I do now where am I going now what am I doing now and there's been so many changes in my life obviously granted and I've just you know not been that open about it not as open as maybe I have been in the past but it's been fucking rocky it's been a tough tough road and in my life like my nan and bumper were always like my solid place they were always my guidance um throughout things that I went through like in my childhood and stuff and uh you know when you just wish that you had those people here at a time where you need that guidance and you need that direction and you need someone to be like yeah you're doing the right thing and it's so weird I've felt that a lot in the last few days and then I just find that randomly and you know I'm so spiritual so some of you may think I'm crazy <laughs> but for me it's just like a little sign you know just like I always look to them for guidance and I just feel like there's times in my life as an adult where I would love them to be here for the guidance that I so desperately needed sometimes recently but yeah I just thought I'd share that with you because I didn't expect to get emotional sorry I really have tried my best not to be emotional over the last few months and not cry because it's just I know it's jarring sometimes I imagine but um yeah that was just a really special like moment if you can hear like lads laughing in the background by the way my brother's friends around tonight because my sister-in-law's on a night shift so they're all just having a lads night in the living room and it's all going on down there but yeah I just wanted to share that because this book has been in my life for a long time and I've always slept with it in my bedside table and I always did before I moved and then I had it in my bedside table in the new house and then obviously I moved back and I haven't yet like retrieved it and now I've come across it it just kind of just feels a bit like a little bit of contentment if that makes sense. If you are new here and you're thinking what the hell if you've ever watched any of my tattoo tours then you will know a lot of my tattoos I'd say probably 90% of them and I am covered are to do with my nana or my nana bumper i literally have a portrait of them which is my favorite photo of them ever on my back that has been there since well bumper was still alive when i got that done it wasn't long after my nana passed away so he actually got to see it when i tell you like they are everything to me even now like they always will be no matter what it's just crazy there's not a day that goes by where i don't think of them like i mean it in just the nicest possible way i think god what would they think if I did that or like I wonder what her advice would be or what would I do if you know I actually need to edit Sunday's vlog but actually I've just caught a glimpse of my skin in the um random to change the subject I know but I've just caught a glimpse of my skin in the camera and I just actually thought I'd show you what um I've got on because hiccups hang on is my cup of tea going cold because if it is that's a real shame that is perfect um so as you all know skin is my thing absolutely obsessed but i've been using this the last couple of nights and it is the sirene i think that's how you say it aqua hydrating mask and it's basically like a there we go like a sleep mask for your skin and the instructions are apply a layer of the gel mask over the face and neck and allow it to feed into the skin overnight so that's exactly what i've been doing and i must admit i'm loving it it's a really weird thing because it dries down a hell of a lot more than a moisturizer like into the skin 
but you can see it's it's got like the like hydratingness going on like you can literally see it like here like wherever my face is catching the light but it's completely dried down and like a moisturizer what is actually going on on my phone over there is there an emergency we are ready what well, i say we chloe is also ready but at her house for a little bestie day i'm so excited so today we are going to holly's farm shop which is something we do every year because it's not too far from us and we love it there and then we go for dinner at a place called the fish pool so we're having our typical day of doing that but this year because molly may now lives in cheshire she made that farm shop famous on tiktok and apparently the queues have been crazy but we're hoping it's calmed down a bit now so we're off to do our usual autumnal day that's what we always do me and chloe in october we do the holly's farm shop and have dinner and we also do scare fest in alton towers so hopefully we've got a chance to do that as well this month even though i've got a super busy month but it's a cold day even though it's quite sunny it is a cold day but i just thought i'd show you my little outfit this is just an outfit i've just pulled out of my wardrobe from like my winter wardrobe staples so this um jumper is from h&m but it's not like a thick knit it's like a it's like a thin knit and i've just got a little vest on underneath sorry my camera keeps going so dark and then i've got this long like woolen coat on which is from asos i've had this for years it's asos design however if you want to get a dupe of this it's been out of stock literally i've had it for about four years they have just brought one out so similar me and chloe saw it last week in the rita aura range in primark it honestly is identical to this coat and i think it's about 35 pounds this one was 120 from asos like i said about four years ago just got a beanie hat on which is just my thing in the autumn as you know and then i've got these super old in the style leather leggings on i've got these in every color from in the style i wonder if they'll ever bring them back but they just fit really really well for a leather legging and then i've just got these h&m boots on which i just had to give a little bit of a clean to be honest because they were filthy when i got them out also i've only got size three feet how big do they look but yeah this is my little outfit of the day beanie vibes oh just when i can dress like my true ashley spinelli self if you don't know who that is then i feel like you're probably a lot younger than me but this is just asher to a t i'm gonna go to chloe's now and then we're gonna go from there i've just got her some um blondifying olaplex i received it in pr chloe's got super blonde hair and i don't use olaplex and obviously i don't have blonde hair so i thought i'd take those for her so i'm gonna take those with me and yeah come along with us for a gorgeous autumnal day i've used the word autumnal so much in the last few days guys i've just had a realization in my head that i am dressed as you know your iphone like emoji thing i think it's called a memoji i am literally dressed as my memoji today she wears a beanie hat i change it to a fedora in the summer and then it goes back to a beanie in the autumn and it's this color hilarious yeah so she looked yeah. amazing didn't she yeah in that dress that was a dolce and gabbana dress was it was it or dior we were just saying that people have driven miles to come here because of molly may oh he's definitely pulling in that space oh look how cute Chloe. oh we could have brought meadow i didn't realize that you could so cute look at the size of that bad boy i was actually just saying to club i've stayed in um one of the lodges here before stop it guys this is so cute look how nice this is come on <laughs> thank you i like your hat oh That's thank gorgeous. you very much yeah. it's very old well i used to have you had a beaver no oh that, no okay beaver, beaver really big in the 60s and plush hat i used to have one like that no way um, with a badge on um and i put it on the on the snow when i go for my kids you know, I, forgot. <laughs> I forgot to get it off <laughs> oh i'll have to google it and have a look beaver was so big really oh, I mean, yeah. sounds like my cup of tea to be honest yeah oh i'll have to have a little look <laughs> have a nice day thank you bye oh mother Oh, okay. oh, this is the cutest thing. It smells so nice. Oh, look at these. Is it that? Oh, I like that. Oh, that's unreal. What is that's it? That's Christmas. Oh, no, it's no, um, Max Melt. Max Melt. Oh, Spice Orange. Oh, oh wow. wow. 20. That's oud. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice, that floral oud. Oh my god, I wonder how much they are. It's probably like so many for. Oh, here we go. Pick a mix. 10 for £12.50. That's really good, isn't it? Winter nights, what does that smell like? I like woody. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I don't know that. It's a bit fresh. It's a bit almost lavendery. 
Mm, it's gorgeous though. Everything will work out in the end. You don't need to know how, just trust that it will. And then look at these tiny little things with quotes on. Oh my god, I am obsessed. These are so cute. Just getting out all of their Christmas jelly cats. Look how cute this candy cane one is. <gasps> I actually don't own any jelly cat toys, but if I was to get one, it would probably be the ice latte one. Sorry, but look how bougie these pajamas are. How nice are they? So nice. What face? Oh yeah, is that the new Hibernate one? Oh, they sell neon in here. Yeah, the new Hibernate one is such a nice smell. That body scrub is gorgeous. That perfect night's sleep. Have they got the spray of that? The pillow mist. Body scrub. Oh, the pillow mist of the perfect night's sleep. Nice oh, there's my um, diffusers up there. Have you seen that tortoise shell one that they've just brought out? No, right. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. I'm waiting for it to come in stock and look fantastic. They've got all their 2024 diaries and notebooks. Daily gratitude. Oh, somebody's wrote on that. Look. So cute. La 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 la. Oh look, there's a little chi on there. You see that? <laughs> Cute. They've just got so much. They've got um, loads of fragrance off, but they've got like loads of cute little jewelry brands as well. And I've got all these goods. This is what you call a Hocus Pocus hot chocolate, apparently. I reckon there's about 2,000 calories each one. But who's counting them? Not us. Not today. <laughs> so we're going on Christmas at the <gasps> Holly's Farm Shop. Oh, should we go into the Christmas shop? This is so cute. Oh, apples. So cute. I actually love all the traditional vibes. Oh, that is so cute. What is it, a bowl? Ah, yeah. And you can put baubles in it. That's so cute. Yeah, I love all the um, like traditional stuff. It reminds me of like, being at your grandparents when you were a kid. You know, like all this sort of stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's so nice. That's like proper like farmhouse vibes. Yeah. That is so nice. Imagine working here and having to listen to Christmas songs on repeat constantly. Oh, look at that little clock. That's so sweet. It's cold here. Pretty cold. Do a bit of heating on. I love that for the, my living room. That's yeah, I love. Stop it. Oh, oh God. It's giving me a horror film. <laughs> so we've just been... Oh! We've just been doing some networking for Rex and Bean Co. We were just asking the woman in the shop because they stock like smaller brands of coffee we asked them how we would get in touch hello. to send samples hello can you hear me love hello hiya can you hear me i can't hear you right yeah so um i was just in the farm shop in holly's and i was just like out of interest looking at the coffee and taking pictures of like the coffee bags that they sell just to show you like the different brands and stuff and then someone was like, oh, like, if you want to, we can grind your beans for you. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, and she's like, oh, we sell a lot of that, you know. And I was like, oh, do you? I was like, oh, I'm buying it for my boyfriend because he owns a coffee roastery. So he'll appreciate me getting him a little present. And then she was like asking me all these questions. I was like, oh, it's called Rex and Bean Co. It's like sold really well because of like, um, the you know, the name and the American owners with the football club. Anyway, I've got a lead for us. So we've got the contact now and we were chatting to the woman, but we don't think, we think she was more than just like an assistant that worked in the shop. <laughs> Double the price for there then. <laughs> Which the price is in there. They sell that that coffee in there was it five seventy five that I for a little bag yeah, for a little bag. Next stop on the bestie day out. Hey, come on, leave me wax melts in the car. Oh yeah, Let's leave all wax melts in the car. Delamere Forest, stunning walk if you're in the Cheshire area. Ah. Oh, so cute. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, Sorry. scared him. Wow! Oh, they're so cute! What are they, ducks? Yeah, we had some geese, but when we had the flu and that, we yeah. lost them. Oh no! Oh, so what do they eat? That looks like a gourmet meal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what she's made them! Cucumber and lettuce. Oh, they know it's dinner time, don't they? <laughs> oh, what are they called? That one's chocolate. That one's Mandy. Chocolate Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh my god. How do we end up in these situations? Oh my god. How, how old are they? I don't think I'll ever forget taking a wrong turn on the walk, ending up in someone's back garden who was feeding ducks, and one of them being called Chocolate, and one of them <laughs> being called Mandy. Imagine like, like you'd call them chocolate and biscuit or chocolate and cake. Chocolate and Mandy. 
Oh, she was she was a cute little woman. Are you all right? Okay, we've worked up an appetite. We've come to the fish pool. Gorgeous restaurant. Very busy though for a Monday afternoon. What time is it? Monday lunchtime. Didn't think it'd be so busy. It'll be like all the all the like people on maternity leave, people who work shifts, all the OAPs. Ladies who leisure. Ladies who leisure. <laughs> ladies who lunch, which is what we are. Oh, yeah, ladies, yeah, so ladies of leisure. Ladies, ladies of leisure, lunch. ladies who lunch. Like bit to say leisure, but that's not my life. So. Yeah, no, sadly not. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> so much. And I'll try to be honest. Same, that's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. That's the one. My hair is so greasy, I can't take my beanie off, even though I'm sat in a restaurant. Cheers, darling. Let's give this a try. Can't remember what he said it was. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Johnny sauce. Um, Johnny sauce. No, I'm not. Thank you. Can I get some mayonnaise? Thank you. Wow. So I got a Caesar salad, obviously, standard. Chloe got the. Oh, Chloe, that looks unreal, doesn't it? It's like a stir fry. Chloe got the beef, like Asian beef. And then we got some salt and pepper chips to share. Oh my god. It is officially flea season for little chihuahuas, isn't it? Let's get you undone. Get this on, Manx. By the way, I'm home, if you didn't guess. And now we're at the beach. There we go. Oh, sorry, guys. All a bit ski with. Um, yeah, we've come to the beach. Thought we'd just quickly catch the sunset. The sunset's so early nowadays, like quarter past six. Um, so I just thought we would come and have a little walk. Guys, when I tell you my hair is so greasy, look at it. That's actually embarrassing. But I've... Um, I had to take my beanie hat off because I was getting really, really hot. Are you going to do poo? Are you going to do poo? That fleece is actually a bit big on him, but I can't find his smaller one, the one that he's had since he was a puppy. Must be in a box somewhere, knowing my luck. Look at the sky. All the pastel. Okay, good boy, go on. All the pastel colours on this beautiful, beautiful evening. How gorgeous. I was actually coming to round up the vlog and say my goodbyes, however... I've just had, well, some parcels have been sat here a while, some parcels are bits that have arrived today and I just thought I'd quickly show you before we round up the vlog. By the way, I'm in like fresh pyjamas in the middle of the day, just don't even ask what's going on, like content has been done and it's just all a bit crazy. Um, and that's my brother being loud in the background, I think now. But yeah, let me show you what I got because super cute. I just opened the most gorgeous surprise box from my lovely Georgia Astor family. I just love the team there so much. They're so lovely. I don't know if you remember last Christmas. So I think it was November. We went on like a little Christmas staycation with George home. And it was just, if you remember that vlog, you'll know how unreal their stuff was. My ribbed glass mug that I drink from every single day is from George Asda. They still got them in stocks. I saw them in there the other day, but I just love George home so much. It's so affordable. Anyways, this is the new Stacey Solomon collection and some random bits have been sent to me as a little surprise, which is so nice, but look how cute this is. This is a pumpkin um, tea light holder. How gorgeous. And then we've got, everything is bubble wrap, but I've just opened it for Instagram. Got this little dash in, which I'm going to give to my sister-in-law because her mum's got one. Little Freddy, so I thought that would go to a good home. Then there's this like chain wooden decorative item. If you remember, I mean it's in boxed up somewhere with my furniture, but if you remember I had a gold one similar to this um, from TK Maxx in the other house. And this is so nice. And then this mug, which says get cosy. How gorgeous is that? They do a matching one as well that says let's snuggle, I think it says. But how cute is that? It's a really good size as well. And then this little all ornament which says home is where the paws are and then we've got this like pumpkin cushion these are everywhere at the moment aren't they it's like a filled knitted pumpkin no how cute is that i'm actually going to switch up the accessories in my room this week and take away like my ibiza cushion and stuff and put some more cozy autumnal stuff in because even though i'm just not feeling it this year actually opening this has changed my mind on that so i'm going to switch up the accessories in my room and actually get a little bit cozy this says let's snuggle and it's like that gorgeous um borgy material is that what you call it borg boucle what do you call it buccal i don't know but it's absolutely stunning also amongst the chaos and there is a lot of chaos in here right now it's my cup of tea next to my empty rubicon for me um 
I got some new suitcases from Rock Luggage. Let me get them out and show you. But honestly, guys, Rock Luggage do the best suitcases. This is my fourth set from them. And they do them in sets. So, you know, the large, the medium, and then the cabin size. So reasonably priced for how decent the quality is. And they have the locks on the zips as well. You would have seen I had this set in the cream, which got absolutely battered because I travelled so much last year. And then I had a beige set from them, which has been battered this year because um, I actually lost one of those beige well the airport in Naples lost um one of those suitcases and when it eventually turned up it was absolutely hammered so I thought it was about time to get a brand spanking new one and I actually went with black just because I feel like it won't mark as much but yeah I'll show you these once I get them out it's like a set so they're all like inside each other so there's a lot of packaging anyways look at me I literally look hilarious right now oh these are the um HA designs pajamas that I mentioned I think earlier on in the vlog they've got um color on color embroidery so the initials are really subtle can you see AML and they're just so nice they're like a rib really 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 fine rib and they are super super soft let me put the light on because I feel like it's just going dark so early now guys oh I hate that time of year only for the light purposes um but look how gorgeous so this is the vintage set by Rock and you'll remember if you watched the LA vlogs basically all my travel vlogs in the last year I had this in the cream with the black like leather on. Oh, Hi, man. Flash in your pocket. Oh, it's all going on out there. Hi, man. I didn't even know you were on your way till Josh said. You don't even want to look in here. Just don't even look in here. It's like Santa's grotto. You just stay out there, darling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My mum's not here for the week because we're going to Paris on the weekends. But yeah how gorgeous honestly the quality with rock let me just turn you back around the quality with rock luggage is just insane and they all come with this like locking um like zip thing but you set your code obviously but yeah how nice is this they've got so many colors of the vintage mum going crazy at the dogs in the background they've got so many colors of the vintage and they've also got so many other cases like i cannot even explain how unreal they are you can actually buy them like individually like you can buy the cabin you can buy the medium you can buy the large you don't have to buy them as a set but anyway considering my mother's just got here considering it's actually the start of a whole new week tomorrow i better actually round up the vlog and get into the next one because it's just like a rolling constant weekly diaries at the minute i'm just so i'm just feeling so much contentment at the moment and i'm just so grateful that you guys give me like this safe space to just let things be allow myself to feel what i need to feel and just go through all the motions and the next few weeks are such an exciting time for me and like one of the biggest moments in my career is about to happen and i'm just so 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 excited for it all i just feel like the next few months i've just got really good vibes about the next few months you know and i just feel in a place where i'm like like I have like this inner glow like obviously you can't see it but like an inner excitement and like I said just inner contentment and solitude is just so underrated it's one of the best feelings that you can have but yeah thank you for being patient with me when everything's been a bit ugh, here there and everywhere everything's been a bit chaotic the chaos will slow down eventually maybe once this next quarter is out of the way but yeah like I said thank you so much for just being so lovely and so supportive and just for letting this be both of our safe spaces i feel like that's what i want this channel to be anyway i'm gonna round up the vlog how dark does my hair look by the way <laughs> what's going on there um but thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all in next week's video bye